Leg ulcers are essentially a defect in the skin. Why are they caused? There are a number of causes. Uh, the most common cause, uh, and accounting for 80% of ulcers, are venous problems in the circulation. Then there are arterial ulcers, and there are mixed ulcers, so i.e. they have a venous and arterial component. There are then small vessel disease uh, problems, such as vasculitis, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and one has to consider also uh, trauma and infection causing uh, an ulcer as well. The key to uh, an ulcer is to understand the underlying mechanism uh, to be able to then direct one's therapy. If there is any arterial component to an ulcer, the patient needs to be referred to an arterial unit uh, for restoration of uh, blood supply uh, in order to uh, enable the ulcer to heal. Without that, that simply won't happen and runs the risk of the ulcer becoming larger and potentially limb loss. So I mean an amputation. Venous ulcers are more straightforward to, to heal. Uh, one uses compression therapy and specialized dressings to heal the ulcer. And one should aim to do this within six to eight weeks. This is something that can be achieved very much in the community uh, with a good uh, tissue viability nurse and community service. Where, however, the ulcer does not heal in that time period, one needs to consider whether there are other reasons for this. For example, it is known that in chronic ulcers, there is the potential to develop a skin cancer. So there may be the necess necessity for a skin biopsy. And that would need to be done in a vascular unit. Once the ulcer has been healed, one has to look at reasons to prevent that ulcer from coming back. If we go back to the arterial ulcers, it will go back to risk factor optimization. So I, what I mean by that is ensuring that the patient does not smoke, ensuring that their blood pressure and sugar control from a diabetic perspective are entirely optimized and that they are leading a general healthy life with a good diet and a level of exercise. From a venous perspective, one can consider using ongoing use of compression stockings, but we also know that this can be uh, supplemented with surgery to reduce the risk of ulcers coming back. Therefore, again, one would need to refer to a vascular unit to look for whether there are any indications to reduce that risk of recurrence through surgery. That benefit is fairly significant because you reduce your risks of ulcer recurrence by about 50% and all the morbidity that is associated with that if that occurs for any patient.